Good evening. Welcome to evening prayer on this day, the 2nd of July. In the calendar of the church, it's the first evening prayer of St Thomas the Apostle. So it's evening prayer on the, on the eve of St Thomas Day. So the order of service that we use, um, if you're following in, in common worship daily prayer, is um, for All Saints to Advent, and that's on page 297 of Common Worship Daily Prayer. It's also a significant day for me and a day that's good to pause and to reflect as well because it's 20 years to the day that I was ordained a deacon in the Church of England and that took place at Guildford Cathedral. I can't quite believe it's 20 years since I was ordained a deacon. I don't quite know where on earth the time has, uh, has gone. And um, so joining with me this evening, um, do join me as we um, give thanks. And uh, as I give thanks to, to God for God's guidance and God's presence um, in my ministry and in my life over the course of these, uh, these last 20 years and for everything that took place before that, shaping me and preparing me and drawing me and calling me towards ordination. Some of the prayers I use will reflect the ministry of the church. They're the, the prayers which are set for ember days, which is a, a time to focus and uh, to pray for ministry. Because uh, whether, like me, you're called uh, to be ordained in the church as, as a deacon um, or whether that's not the case, God calls all of us to use the gifts that he's given us to, to serve him and to serve one another. And so it's right that we all take that time to reflect, and most especially, uh, I give thanks to God this night. So I'm glad that you're with me. So let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. Now, as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions, cleanse us by your refining fire, and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts and make us ready to enter your kingdom, where songs of praise forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening, Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter, in the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me and set me high upon a rock. And now shall he lift up my head, 
above my enemies round about me. Therefore, therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your word, seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of those who lie in wait for me. Deliver me not into the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me and those who breathe out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God, our light and our salvation, illuminate our lives, that we may see your goodness in the land of the living, and, looking on your beauty, may be changed into the likeness of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from Isaiah chapter 35. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp, the grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveller, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Here ends the Old Testament reading. The Canticle. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We have come before God's holy mountain to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God, who is judge of all. 
before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenants. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. So let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Our New Testament reading is from the 10th chapter of the letter to the Hebrews, beginning the 35th verse. Do not therefore abandon that confidence of yours. It brings a great reward. For you need endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. For yet, in a very little while, the one who is coming will come and will not delay. But my righteous one will live by faith. My soul takes no pleasure in anyone who shrinks back. But we are not among those who shrink back and so are lost, but among those who have found faith and so are saved. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. When all is made new, and the Christ is on his throne of glory, you will sit on the twelve thrones to judge the tribes of Israel. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servants. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. When all is made new, and the Christ is on his throne of glory, you will sit on the twelve thrones to judge the tribes of Israel. Let us pray. God our Father, you give us gifts that we may work together in the service of your Son. 
Bless the leaders of your church. We pray for the church throughout this diocese of Norwich. Today praying for the parish of St Peter Mancroft in the city of Norwich. For all who minister there. We pray too, joining with the Anglican Communion throughout the world. This day praying for the Diocese of North Karamoja in Uganda, for Bishop James Nasak. The Diocese of Auckland in New Zealand, for Bishop Ross Bay. The Diocese of Magui in South Sudan, for Bishop Ogino Charles Opoka. Lord of the Church, in your mercy hear us. Bless those who teach, that they may increase our understanding and be open to your word for them. We give thanks for those who have taught, guided and inspired us through the years. Lord of the Church, in your mercy hear us. Bless those who minister healing, that they may bring wholeness to others, yet know your healing in themselves. Pray for those we know who are sick or ill, those who struggle this evening, those in search of peace. Lord of the Church, in your mercy hear us. Bless those who work in our community to bring relief to those in need, to support the, the afflicted, to lift up the lowly. We pray for the work of the Pathway Cafe and Support Centre, praying for them especially as they seek to appoint a manager. Lord of the Church, in your mercy hear us. We pray for all of those places and communities where I have been blessed to minister over the last 20 years. For the parish of St Michael the Archangel in Aldershot. For the Sol Bay Team Ministry in the Diocese of St Edmundsbury in Ipswich. for the parish of Earlham in Norwich and for the Great Yarmouth Team Ministry here. Lord of the Church, in your mercy hear us. Bless those who are uncertain of their gifts and those who are powerless in this world's eyes, that they may be made strong in your gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of the Church is governed and sanctified, Hear our prayer which we offer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry 
they may serve you in holiness and truth to the glory of your name through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, Bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks very much everyone for joining with me this evening. It's a curious way um, to mark your 20th anniversary of ordination and um, you know, as I look back and reflect there's all sorts of things I found myself doing which I never really imagined that I would do in all sorts of places um, I've been to and been called to that I wouldn't have imagined. Um, certainly I wouldn't have imagined that we'd have gone through a time of global pandemic um, when I uh, found myself um, in here on my own uh, quite a lot over the last, uh, the last few weeks and months for, for, for obvious reasons. But then again, I, I don't suppose I'd have imagined that actually I was going to end up here um, serving in the parish of Great Yarmouth, uh, which of course is where I was born. I, I, I think I'm one of the few incumbents of the Church of England um, who is the uh, incumbents uh, of the parish they were born in. I don't think there's many people who can claim that. Um, but it's a joy to be here in, uh, in, in Great Yarmouth and um, I'm very grateful for, to all of you um, here in this parish and beyond for all of your love, support and prayers over the course of the last 20 years. So thank you very much and a good evening and God bless you all. Bye bye.